Welcome back to 3D Cast. I've got my dad's jumper on. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a shield. Where should we put this? Well, I practically want it to give it me. <laughs> <laughs> Where should we put it? Uh, can we put it there without, without ruining it? Stop swearing. Edit it. Oh, I said ruining it. Stop swearing, Thomas. <laughs> I like that one go. I think I dropped a little left one then as well. So. Sorry, I got excited. I'm getting oh, I'm I'm really excited. I'm getting excited. What we're talking about? Uh, strength. Why you need to be strong for CrossFit. You don't. <laughs> you, do. you do. You do. You do. You do. Strength. And it's not like just you need to back squat 200 kilos or deadlift this three times body weight it's like simple things are you strong enough to jump on a box are you strong enough to jump up and down in a straight line doing double unders for 30 seconds you see that a lot don't you mm. yeah. or i can't get my technique is it your technique or is it that you cannot jump up and down Don't repeatedly mm. yeah your feet like planks just yeah, 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 good yeah. Oh, wait, have you got enough have you got enough calf strength do you need to go back on the old calf raises <laughs> yeah true those things are nice. I always say um, people that because a lot of people like, in the gym that talk about strength. The, the biggest feedback was like, I'm not strong enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not strong. Enough. Yet they don't go do strength, then they, they do more of the same, and then one, yeah, they, they, they then go and do yeah. a primarily endurance yeah. program with high metabolic demand, and then wonder why they're not getting stronger. Yeah, uh, oh, I'm I'm rubbish at double unders, so and then and I tire out on them. I just do so I'll, I'll do Annie again. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and this time might be different though. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. You have to come away from the sport to get better at the sport. Yeah. And like uh, Chelsea was saying the other day, like if you've got, if you put just like black two strict handstand push-ups, mm. why would you then go and try and do you know, mm. RX? You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? With the with like the deadlifts in between yeah, yeah. and the handstand push-ups, it's like you wouldn't do it, would you? So no. <coughs> it's, like, um, it's like another thing. It's like saying, oh, I've snatched hundred kilos. Charles. So so to. Charles. <laughs> Charles. What we're going to start doing is we're going to, we're going to start doing a, a compilation video each week of Charles and Snatchers because he came in today after a few weeks ago when he said he snatched 105 once so it's not repeatable so it's not a, not a, not a movie. <laughs> He's done it once, never again. Got spat out of 60 again, four times. Came in Tuesday. Did you say Tuesday? Last Tuesday, yeah. Last yeah. Tuesday was the first time. Monday, no Monday. And also that last Tuesday. What he does is he comes in with his dog, takes his top off, um, <laughs> six, six kilos on a bar, snatches it about 18 times till one of them goes right, and then he goes from 60 by 85 and then tries 90 a few times and knocks it in the head. Um, and then Tuesday, it, it up, uh, uh, this Monday, wasn't it, when I was doing the yoke carry, and he dropped it on his back. Oh, yeah, 85, wasn't it? 85, yeah, yeah, straight yeah. down his back, man. You know when you, you know when you know you should let go of something, like when you wait up and you know, like, ah, oh, missed that one, but he just tries to fight it, doesn't he? He tries to like bend well, that's his because his every rep he has ever done has been that rubbish. He's like, I've got to fight for it. Yeah, yeah. So he's just like, this is normal. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> it, it's just, we need to get Charles he's, on he's this. Super, yeah, we always rip him. Yeah, yeah. We need super, to just give him a chance to be super strong, strong, super fit. So back to it. Strength over the same. You have to get strong outside of CrossFit, basically away from CrossFit, and then when you come back to CrossFit, you will be better. Do you though? Do you have to? You don't have to, you could follow. crack on, but I mean if you want to so you get stronger, just follow it a, a program. I think a you'll get program. I think you can get stronger, yeah. but like, say there's a say there's someone in the in the class who can you can who's getting broken in half by an empty barbell. If, say it's say it's Fran for example, and they're doing thrusters and they can't do an empty bar, it's breaking him in half. We've seen it, haven't we? do, do they need Fran? Do they not just they could just do a CrossFit program, though. Yeah. <coughs> you could, you could, um, they could, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, if, it's, if they just didn't want to prioritise it. It's not even the programme, is it? It's the execution of the programme. You give, you give that same person, right, you go and go and do an EMOM and thrusters, not one of them any, any better. Believe it or not, they're not going to get any better thrusters. So, like, yeah, Frank comes yeah, on again in yeah. six weeks, and, like, I've been training six weeks for yeah. this now, and the same thing happens. Yeah. So, a, a programme isn't working, it's not, if, it, if the execution isn't there, it's not repeatable, and then nothing actually changes. Yeah. You're over six weeks, you've got no measurable data. So, we're like, I think I've gone better, but I've no idea. No one has to yeah, do yeah, anything, yeah. but what we're, yeah. sa what we're saying is that for, this is for people who want to get better at CrossFit. So, to get, get so better, better. At CrossFit, it, 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 there's two ways you can look at it. CrossFit's either a S S&C programme, certain oh. conditioning programme, and then a derivative of the, of the sport. Put the sport yeah. completely to one side, and 
actually program it for what it was as a GPP program. GPP, yeah. But it's the same as anything. The same on name a sport. Name a sport. Rugby, rugby mega. Oh, so. Go on, go on, let's see if we can do exactly this. Go on. Lacrosse. That'll do. So, lacrosse. if someone had a mega season but had a thousand, you've got the best player on the team, he's too small, she's too small, injury prone, always getting stuck to half bigger lads, are you then going to go make them play another season? Or are you going to take off for a season like you are going to get bigger? We're going to get you absolutely huge for a whole season and take you away from the sport mm. and then we'll chuck you back in yeah. and you'll dominate again because yeah. right now your skills <clears> mega but your actual physical and athletic capabilities don't match your skill level. Yeah. Same across it, you get to really skilled people who just end up really just yeah. ultimately not being strong enough. Yeah. Going on a strength program. Yeah. And they can just yeah. get by on the movement and then whatever engine and capacity they've got and yeah. but but they're not robust enough to be yeah. coming back and doing those movements, especially yeah. when you've got things like butterfly pull ups and high volume squatting yeah. that can like ruin you if you're not robust yeah. enough. It happens in every sport. I'm never doing a butterfly pull up ever again. <laughs> Yeah, I can't do them. Rubbish. Probably, <laughs> like, yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably abuse them if, if I did. So, bit of muscle ups. Never. Do, yeah. Never say never, but like. Yeah. For now. Yeah. Same again. You I think it's a time that, and a place. Yeah, and that's where I talk to people about, yeah, that about CrossFit, well. and it looks like I'm coming across as I'm ranting negative. I'm not against it, I'm just getting the question what they're asking me. And you say about, um, uh, I need to get better at um, uh, butterflies or toaster bar. Why? So I want to be able to do workouts better. You're like, mm. yeah. So, so yeah, then, so I then, think in that. so then, it's a specific <coughs> to a means to an end. That's not toaster bar is not strength. Toaster bar is a specific skill, in my opinion, argue me, to um, for the sake of completing a workout. Like that. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, I don't yeah, expect yeah. any other carry over to anything else. I know what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. shopping or yeah. 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 I don't think it's got any yeah. kind of I mean, yeah, I understand what you're saying yeah. in, in, in real yeah. life terms, yeah. It's the same with wobbles. Yeah. Fair to squat and press, but um, uh, there's potentially much better ways to go about it. Yeah, you don't have to. If you wanted to get, if you wanted to be to be GPP fit, you wouldn't need toaster bar, wobbles, double unders. You know. Whereas I say, if I bring some of my guys in and talk about like some of the some of the, the, the top like the higher end like the semi pro athletes that, that I've had and I have brought them into here before and I've looked at something because they've got a really good understanding of movement as as a whole and looked at toast one and like oh, I get that straight away banging out yeah twenty when people are struggling with fives and they've been yeah. there for a long time yeah. because they are that is GPP their base is huge yeah. and then they can direct it towards anything they want to do and then the skill element at the top wall balls burpees double under they can look at me like. I'll see how that works. I'll give it a go, and all of a sudden within a session yeah. I've got it. Yeah. And it's like, oh my god, it's super. You know, just his GPP on yeah. there. Their GPP is just yeah. so huge. It's like, it's, yeah, it's like they can then put the athleticism to any specific skill or task. So when you that's get people, because that's still strength, isn't it? Like, like you strength. I, you I don't know when, when, when you think of strength, you think like like back squat. Then yeah, you think about like maximum kind of stuff thing, yeah, exactly. But that is yeah, like you were strength. Saying, I say like, about jump on jump on Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say about strength is um things like. Even to go in the terms of the factors between look at mobility and then strength, are you in positioning? Can you get in the right position? Can you can you stabilize yourself in the position? Mm. Can you move between positions? Are you can you hold the top of the front squat? Can you stand yeah. up? Yeah. Uh, like what's your posture like just at rest or up? Yeah, yeah. If it's awful, it's gonna get more awful when yeah. you put locomotion into it. Yeah, if you're and then just start squatting and it goes even worse. Bent over, kyphotic, yeah. do in if, it, that's when strength. you put a load in your front rack. Yeah. That's strength, that's that's mm. positions. Is strength moving between them, sequence of them is strength, motor control yeah. in a way is strength. Yeah. Really? That's yeah. that's the bigger umbrella thing. Then you go and put it into specific means to an end, i.e. either go and play a sport or you want to do it to look better, or you want to go and get better crossfit, that's then it's a specific yeah. too. Yeah. You know I mean? But the rules don't change, the laws don't change. We always get like the blurred lines with CrossFit on because there's just so many like faucets to it. Yeah, yeah. Faucet. Yeah. That's an American word. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just like just mainly the sport and the GPP. Yeah. It's always blurred, isn't it? Like so, yeah. like you're saying, yeah. Why do you need to do toaster bar? Yeah. If it's not for competition, yeah. then then like you say, it just means to an end because yeah. it's in a workout. Yeah. Yeah. GHD setups. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Why? Mm. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying the bad. I just say what. Like I don't do slash can't do quite some of the top end cross up movements. Do you know what I mean? But um. I think I've got no desire to because I'm not ever going to go and do it at a yeah. high, higher level. So I so can complete that. Uh, like I love the methodology and use it for a lot of it, but it's not all that I use. It's yeah. not everything. Yeah. It doesn't encompass everything. It's yeah. just 
parts that I take out of it. And that's what I'm coming, I think that's what I'm coming into, like showing people the world outside of SNC. Go and look at, um, you can go and watch preseason now for like for the NFL teams. Watch them in a weight room, watch them power cleaning and, 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 and yeah. just dragging shit and just being yeah. like absolute savages. Yeah. What's you going to wall ball though? Because they don't need to. They don't, that's yeah. not going to get the better NFL. Yeah. They're, yeah. In a, they're in a stage now where they're going to, they're preparing to take, you know, a year of contact. Well, they're like, doing, the yeah, they do all the... At 100 mile an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah the combine as well. well. Exactly. So well, they, they passed their GPP fee, which they all deserve to start a pre but then they've completed One other thing as well, like going back to what we said before, was like we see the the fitness in 100 words, and then part of of part of that is, you know, Run, you know, running, swimming, biking, snatch, clean and jerk, snatch, clean and pirouettes, jerk press, pirouettes, uh, uh, press to yeah. handstand, yeah. Um, pull ups, push ups, dips, all that sort of stuff. Paleo then, diet, <laughs> no carbs, do all that, and then don't eat any carbs. But the thing is, though, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that, that is CrossFit, that is fitness in 100 words. However, if how can you do, how can you perform dips, pull ups? press to handstand, how can you perform any of that without a prerequisite amount of strength? Yeah. So yeah, like yesterday, like it was, we had programmed handstand push-ups and it was like, it wasn't mm. like, a cro- it was like, it was like three movements and you just had to like do, it was like super soul pull-ups mm. and then like a max set of handstand push-ups and mm. just rest as much as you need. And it's like, handstand push-ups there, I think mm. that's as good as it's going to get. It's mm. like, right, well the scale down from there is probably a handstand push-up negative, so kick up to the wall, control down onto your head without breaking your neck, yeah. can't do that. All right, scale it to feet on a box, can't do that. Knees on a box, can't do that. Pike push up, can't do that. Press up, can you do a press up? No. Mm, one, one or two. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe. When it's like a max set, so I can do two. Then so push, right, right, push ups on your knees. Push ups on your knees, yeah. And, and, like, and then, you're so then you see far. that, you do, yeah, yeah, yeah. you see that. And, and I think like maybe like one or two people dip yeah. handstand push ups. Yeah. yeah. And then you're so far away, it's like, right, well, you, none of you are going to get the stimulus of what today is all about. When I came into it, because I'm still quite new to it, and you two don't belong to me, I picked up all that stuff, up that stuff I didn't take that much skill, but took quite a lot of strength, within a week. Picked it all up because I came from a, a strength background versus coming from, I, 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 didn't learn, I didn't learn how to train via CrossFit, I came from doing um, a lot more linear and, and just all kettlebells really, that's where I started yeah. off, and then because, because that encompasses um, a hinge squat, a push and a pull, yeah. and a bend and a twist, and multi planar stuff as yeah, well. Yeah. When I came in here, I was like, oh, mm-hmm. I get that. Yeah. That's the same as this, that's the same as that. Yeah. Sometimes being exposed to all these different ones, you're like, what's that the same as? If you haven't got any reference points or you never yeah. trained that yeah. at all, it just must seem like a mile away. Yeah, for someone yeah, coming yeah. in, because like, a lot of the members and stuff have never done anything yeah, yeah, yeah. before, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah when they're coming that's in. And I was thinking that today, just that's, like, got a, that's a good point, because they get <clears> excited <throat> by like getting inverted, but at the same time, they're so f- Sometimes potentially so far away from what you want them to be doing, you're like, it's fun, yeah, it's cool, good, yeah, yeah nice one, but my god, there's a lot of work to do there. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like today, like, it's, it's snatching the workout amongst seven or eight other movements, and you're like, what if you get someone come to your class and goes, not, not trained since high school? And that I did that last, that last week at Dallas Five, and I just do? took it out. You just, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, take like, it out, it's yeah, probably the best bet. Yeah, just I bend it off <coughs> and say, uh, it's just not worth it. It's not, I'd do that, yeah. Do if you were like to snatch? No. Yeah. And how else can you replicate that? Right, get a dumbbell and put from there to there. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. That'll do for me. That, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't even go to the like point of like do it with a PVC pipe. No. I won't even do Just, that. That's, that's get a dumbbell. That I find, like, like, one, one thing I find in classes um, when members get discouraged or upset is that they, they're mostly upset not because they come last. You know, most people aren't that bothered about that, and it's like, oh, I need to get fitter because that's realistic. Becoming fitter is realistic. Can one thing that stronger. <coughs> one thing that what that was what my, my point is that one thing they really get upset about is I can't do burpees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not strong enough to do a burpee. Yeah. I can't jump on a twenty-inch box. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, I can't raise a barbell over my head. I can't press a, an empty bar thruster over my head. It happens a lot. Don't it? They get they go to a movement. They get absolutely destroyed by it. They're like, right, I'm gonna get better at them. But then that doesn't happen again. That movement doesn't come up again for potentially two yeah. weeks sometimes. Yeah. yeah, and if you just if you if you're super busy and you was that time you did a thruster in programming? Oh and then they come along again and they're like, oh my god, th- sadly he- on it. heavy thrusters. Mm. Like, Not heavy. Well, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, well, I was Saturday. 
Last Saturday. Uh, no, 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 the class. Was, was the Sunday. And they, so my come on every, every other Oh, week. yeah, yeah. It should be every week. It should be every other week. And all the else, though. But that's like then, one me- movement out of dozens, isn't it? I took them. I took the Monday night class a few and I had some proper challenging triggers, challenging oh, feedback. Mint like, example. Yeah, so the, the class... Just um, off, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's, the, the class was, um, so to explain, the class was uh, 50 overhead squat, 50 strip press, was something like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 bent uh, overall, yeah, yeah. and it was uh, yeah, 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 like, 50 yeah. empty, well, a 50 empty barbell, barbell movements, and it, thr- uh, but thruster and then back squat, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. Pick away, yeah. everyone went, went with an empty bar. Yeah. And that's, a, that's an example of people being folded in half by an empty barbell. Putting down, put, putting it down on a, a set of empty bar back squat. Oh, be, what, what point were you going to make? Or was that sorry, point you going to make? Before that class started, we did a, um, a thing where, and I exposed them to it again. And I do uh, quite often expose them to um, the bigger picture. And we did some, um, some ba- you know, so I tumbled in some basic groundwork, some basic rolling. Like, can you do a forward roll and a backwards mm. roll? And they were like, honestly, what's the fucking point? I was like, can you? <laughs> no. That is the yeah, point. That's the like, point. Yeah. That is the most basic, <clears throat> basic jab skills that you learn as a young and grown up, yeah. going through actual evolution to become a grown adult, and you cannot do it. Yeah. And you are now going to go and do no mid squat, which yeah, is yeah. in terms of complexity, in my opinion, right up here. It's the worst, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it useful? No. Is it specific to to a means to an end? Yes. People say it's a great diagnostics tool. Go with it, the right fair one. Yeah. Anything else? Personally, I don't agree. But then I was like. So let's get right back to being able to um, hold yourself in a straight arm, a straight arm plank. Like you're going to start a push up, and your tailbone's completely piled in now. Yeah. So, but I showed them, and they were, they were like, "What's the point? What's the point? This is not part of the workout." And then you're like, "Let's forget about the workout for a second, mm-hmm. Joe. Let's, yeah. let's look at why you can't um, <coughs> sit the bottom." Of the we're, do, we're doing. Um, do you see what we're doing? What we're doing? Pistols, mm-hmm. but one leg crossed over. Right. Things like that, and it, I was making nails because the ones who were who were sh- like. Like you know, fat run through. I was like, I'll do something that you can't, you can't yeah, do, force yourself yeah, yeah. through. And they were all yeah. falling. I was like, single legs to boot. They were like, Pfft. I was like, mm, right, cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of them, isn't yeah. it? Again, yeah. Yeah. if I um, if in rugby, I couldn't pass on my left hand side, and I had to actually run round and a one eighty to pass at that point. <laughs> do you know what I do? Yeah. Can't tell me. And, and, and I did. <laughs> when, when I was younger, like when I was younger, with kicking as well, or whatever, I'd go and do it for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours each week. Yeah. So I never came across like, I can't do that. And I, because I didn't want to embarrass myself and then yeah. embarrass people that might be watching as well. Yeah. So I'd go and hammer that. Same with thing when I didn't get the hang of it, I'd binned off training for like eight months to go and learn that. And yeah. that, that yeah. and that's what you what you'd that, like everyone to think the mm, same way. That's a that's a real thing. It's yeah. like when you've got when you've got an issue, you have to drop drop the ego and right, I've got a, I've got a goal and I've a have a huge <coughs> hole in my fitness <coughs> and it's gonna affect me reaching that goal eventually. So but at I what, need to point, fix what it. point do you do that though? Because I don't know. For me, it's instant. In, getting into instant. territory of saying, "Well, don't do CrossFit." I know you're here to do CrossFit. But yeah. Well, you know, not, do you know what I do? You know what I do? Truth that, I'd probably um, I'd probably choose my classes, and I I, I always have. Yeah. I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've, and this is this is going against uh, the maybe the the the, um, the the Bible of of, of CrossFit and that, but I choose a class where like, oh, I'll get some out of that, and the yeah. next one would be um, Murph. No. Right. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah, I mean, the thing I'll <coughs> do it now. What you can yeah. If someone sends me a, an hour recovery roll, I'm not doing it. I'm if, not doing yeah. it. Yeah. The, the thing, what you right. can also do as well is, and we've spoken about this before, ch- change the stimulus of your class. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So if it's Fran, and you're like, mm, that isn't going to make me any stronger, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, the thruster to. I'm going to change the dumbbell to, to uh, Yeah, I'm going to do 12, I'm going to do 12, 9, 6, I'm yeah, going to yeah, use yeah. 30 kilo dumbbells, yeah. I'm going to use. And do strict pull ups with a 10 kilo dumbbell in yeah, the two feet. Do you know what I mean though? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It must, uh, uh, it's a strength <laughs> program. If you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for yeah, another yeah. example, Isabel. Yeah. I've already got what, two what minutes. Isabel, that's when we're, that's when we're showing you that then. Yeah. If, if, if the, the skills are limiting factor from the class we spoke about ages ago, if the barbell skills are limiting factor the class, Take it away because CrossFit isn't based around a barbell. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people think it is, and it's based around doing doubles and a barbell. I've got it's not. When people say to me, prove that in the game. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People yeah. said to me, "What well, I'm going to do?" I was like, "I don't care. Should I go learn them? I'm not asked because <laughs> it's a means to end. Just, I, just yeah. skip. Yeah. We can just, change. Just which, we can change the change the movement so you get the same thing yeah. out of it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. 
And he's like, oh, do you care about um, cleaning this or thrustering that? No. Right, well, here's a, pair of, here's a pair of 15 kilo dumbbells. You can Smash do the it. same thing, but cool. you don't have to rely on your child's pal front yeah. rack instead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, just train. <laughs> Training smart, I guess, is what we're getting at. It is, yeah, yeah. 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 And it's getting, hopefully, <clears> again, a, a good level of autonomy for the members and a good buying for members to say, like, what's best for me? And, and what they mean there is, like, give me a, yeah. you know me for long enough now, give me an option. And I suppose they get that anyway. Like I'm just but trying then to look at like, fifteen like, different people, and you're like, right, yeah. you're going to do dumbbells. You're going to do yeah. um, on 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 the rack. You're not even yeah. going to take off the floor. You're going to watch. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's what it was like today. You know, like it's it's like twelve movements or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, we've got Complex things too. Turkish get off deadlift. Turkish get box off jumps. Deadlift, snatch. Box things, jumps. What's good about that is it? It was a again a, a multi-directional base of fitness you need to be able to yeah. get ups yeah. into like. Fairly heavy deadlifts for reps and then plyometrics on a box yeah, jump. Yeah. Well said, it's snatch. snatch. Very complex. Yeah, Furpees and then rowing. Compl a lot of complex yeah. movements there, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So yeah, then you get you get in the trap of like like <laughs> it's just triage, I guess, isn't it? It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need to yeah. like just trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah just do this. Yeah. Like, yeah. The biggest thing behind <laughs> that, I think, when you when you go do do all that, is just do no harm. If you're not doing no harm, if you're not doing any harm, yeah. it's good, it's fine, it, it yeah. will do. But the way I think is, it'll do for now, but then if it was me, I'd be like, I'm going to do something about that, because I can't do a 12 kilo, 30 kilo. Yeah. And I will not, and yeah. personally, yeah. I'd be like, I'm not coming back until I do that for 50, and now I can show you how strong I've got. Yeah, it's weird, because we were talking about this again the other day, like, like at what point, as a coach, have you just got to step back and go, you need to take some responsibility for yourself as a member, like, I know we're here to, give the scale and, and talk the stimulus and all that, but at what point do you make some decision for yourself and not go, I do that what in, do you want me to do? I've tried to start in just night class. Sometimes I work, sometimes I do sometimes I just get a whole blank face and I, and I ask them a question. I was like, what do you think is important in this element? Yeah. And then, well, without one person say a summit, I was like, does so everyone else agree? And they were like, what about that? And then all of a sudden you get like four answers, yeah. like no yeah. one's wrong here, but at least yeah. you give me some feedback and now you start yeah. to answer your own questions. Yeah. They just de don't dare talk. So I, in the um, when I put the workout down, I didn't think talk. I didn't talk about the workout. I talk. I we look at the first bit and we're like, right, what's important? And you give me three points that we need to look on yeah. at this, and then let them come to their own conclusion. And then we see, does everyone agree? What, and then what else can I inject in there that might summarize all that in in, in a better way? Yeah. And that's what we work on. Like I think the other day we did um, something with wall balls in. I kind of wall balls were my biggest thing, and I was I was trying to get across the point of if you can't decelerate, you can't accelerate. So if you can't um, breathe and absorb the uh, you know the getting pushed in the bottom of the squat because you can't yep. squat very well so you, can, yeah. you can't decelerate no mm. matter how strong you are in the front squatting you can't accelerate the guy who came to him with the workshop who just strong as hell you know what I mean Scott is it Scott? yes Scott Scott what's, Mills yeah. what's, his, uh, what's his squat? oh he's super strong huge isn't he yeah. he was getting and I said to him you've got to control your stress like he was breathing like and he was looking around and, <laughs> and I was like and then he was on I think it was on the, 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 the um, what was the wall board it wasn't even the, the RX weight and he was in clip, he was in full on clip because yeah. he just couldn't control himself and I was like, in a controlled environment when you can back squat probably was 150, 60. I think one, I'm sure he said it was 145 or something. Yeah, he's, he's a, a strong, short guy, strong lad strong. and rapid as well. When that got taken off him, when you take the barbell away from him, give him a wall ball, yeah. which is how, how is it, 10 kilos? 6 kilo yeah. would have used, yeah. wouldn't it? 6 yeah. kilo wall ball? Yeah, RX is in nine, ten, yeah. What percentage is that? Yeah. <laughs> Times yeah, three, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you're in yeah. pain. Like now, your back, <coughs> back turned, your legs are knackered, your knees are caving in, your ankles are rolling. That means that you are not strong enough. In general, that's what GPP is. Is and yeah. I said that on a, on a post today about um, oh, you can you can you can uh, you can deadlift two hundred, but you can't pick up that tire. You then can't pick up that forty kilo sandbag. You then can't move with it. You're not strong. Or you're just kilo sandbag. Yeah. Hundred kilo sandbag. <laughs> <laughs> that's what general but, physical but preparedness it? is. It's not. Well, if it was yeah, a couch, I could pick it up. But it's not. It's a tire. Like, yeah. And yeah. and things like a barbell, which CrossFit is heavily based around majority of time, mm. it wants you to lift it. It's set up in the way yeah, that it's you, like a you can work scenario, your, isn't it? You, yeah. can, you can work your way around it. You know, yeah. but. Thing is, a sandbag which is dead weird. It's like falling on the floor when you're gonna get your finger like a storm. You're gonna get your fingers yeah, on there. Yeah. It's hurting your cool, skin and yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't want you lifted. Then you lift it. Oh, strong, mega. I guarantee you can get good at a barbell when you learn the skill. Yeah. I mean, barbell skill in it. That's all it is. That's all yeah. it is. It's just skill work in it. Yeah. Lifting a sandbag doesn't have much skill involved in it, but you're gonna be fucking strong. Yeah. 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 And you're always big on that, aren't you? Just like when it's time to humble people, or not even humble them, but yeah. just just make them understand, like take the skill out. Yeah. 
and just Always, make it yeah. Well, that's the thing. How many times have you done it? How many times have you done it in class when there's, there's back squat or front squat or whatever? And you end up giving someone a goblet squat yeah, or yeah. a sandbag yeah, yeah. instead, and then yeah. they, they get what they're doing. They're doing what everybody yeah. else is doing. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. But you're taking the skill and yeah. all the, yeah. you know, the, the limiting factor out of it. Yeah, I've got the habit now of giving my guys on, on, on a Monday with Man at Monday two movements, and a, a majority of them are CrossFitters. So I give them things that aren't related to CrossFit. Like we did it, um, one was, uh, what was this? Uh, like to, uh, last one was um, burpees and your carries and yeah. your carry was uh, also down ups and uh, not burpees. Um, the point was to see how they control, control the midline and control bracing. So if they do collapse in the down ups, yeah. then they come and pick up a, a yoke. What's going to happen is the yeah, just spine is going to pile in, and then a lot of them will complain about the back. And I was like, I guarantee you, <laughs> didn't yeah. know how, how to breathe, how to brace. So when you pick up a yoke, you can just do it through brute strength. Fair one, you'll yeah. accomplish it, but it'll teach you a lot of things that you've just stood wrong. Back extension, yeah, full on, <laughs> and then they hopefully. You know, of getting just enough stress. It's safe, do no harm, it's still safe, but um, they should work out the way they're thinking, right, this is so, ch- like, round five is killing me, I'm probably not going to get a 10, I need to work something out here. And then that's what I mean, giving them enough chaos, it chuck a, enough yeah. at them for them to work out the, the, themselves. If it, if they're in pain, bloody hell, stop. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah. there's always an intent behind it. everyone yeah. just sees it's mental, it's ridiculous, it's too much volume. There's still a point to it. Yeah. And sometimes the volume, is the fucking is the intent? <laughs> yeah, that was my first one in a while. That wasn't, and I pulled it back. Then, to be fair, to be fair, that was all right. That, yeah. like in one well, of the that was like depths of push ups. Yeah. So like, we did dumbbell. I did dumbbell cleans, fifty rounds, dumbbell cleans, one each arm, um, and five push ups. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Massive yeah. ton of volume in, in pressing, um, and take the deficit away. Clean, full body. Put the dumbbell. Can't get it wrong. Take from there. Your shoulder, there is no skill yeah, required now. You don't yeah, need to get a good front rack exactly. Yeah, yeah. And they will learn really quickly when they get knackered. Oh dear, I need to use more my more muscular gear because my back is now knackered. Yeah. My grip, I can't, and my curl every, fried. I can't carry on curling. And believe it or not, the stress provides the answer. I'm not doing this well enough. I need to find the, and the brain's like, right, we need to start how to adapt. That's amazing, isn't it? That's that's yeah. that's actually yeah. how I do it. You, you chuck something at someone, and the brain and body learns to adapt yeah. really, really quickly. Yeah, and that's like the the magic of CrossFit, isn't it? Is that like how you always talk about? Oh, it's genius programming. How like it's always like deadlifts and box jumps. Yeah. It's like how the deadlift does you in for the yeah, box yeah. jumps. Like yeah. it's always like one thing yep. that, that affects the other. I love couplets. I think getting the best, strong, yeah. best yeah. together, man. So that strength, I guess, to yeah, yeah. the point where it's like, well, I'm good at the, the deadlift, but like when I'm on the box jumps, can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need that middle ground yeah. rather than just well, yeah. I've got a 400 kilo deadlift, but yeah. two hundred kilo jump. They always say about um, you know, there's no point having a two hundred kilo deadlift and a fourteen minute mile and a half. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. whole point of it, isn't it, is, yeah, is to bring everything yeah. together and you yeah. be able to do anything. However, in general, programming is only based around specific means to an end. Yeah. That is the way it works because people want to yeah. do CrossFit and they see it. This they see CrossFit as Toss Wild Dublin's Burpees, Box Jump, Snatch, Clean, Jerk, G- GSDs. Yeah. Cool, but um, if I took all away from you and chuck like a log one in, you're like, how do I pick up a log? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell you what, you'll find a way really quickly when you're two miles in it when you're back. Like this way, if, if a member comes in and she's it's just say it's a woman, for example, and they're like, they can tell the mates, oh, I do CrossFit, I'm really fit, my Kelly time's this, and like I can do this Merv time or whatever, or, well not Merv, maybe something else, do something like, whatever. And it's like, alright, show me how fit you are right now. Yeah. There's a, there's a bar there, pull yourself up on yeah, it, yeah. pull your chin over the bar. Yeah. Oh, I haven't got pull-ups yet. Oh, are you really that fit then? Mm-hmm. Can you jump on this high box? No. Can yeah. you sprint down the road? Do, do you know what I mean? Pull-ups are a great one, we speak about a lot, don't we? Like, I talk myself again, this is... Is that if you've done push pull in squat it to a certain degree, like you'll come in and you like we said, you'll have the strength to pick up certain skills much easier. It's like I think on my my first time at, at CrossFit Warrington, I came in and on the first day I did two straight ring muscle ups. So all you're really yeah, exactly. doing, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Same when I when I came in here, like last because I started, I yeah, I started, and I look at some things and I'm like, oh, I get that cool. I, I, I see how it went take what I've done before and put that into the. This is this is specific to, it's a skill. I, I wouldn't call it strength. I didn't yeah. learn, I didn't get any stronger necessarily here, but I did get stronger at a specific skill. Yeah, so yeah. you yeah. learn how to do a muscle up yeah. straight away yeah. though. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. because you, of what yeah. I'd came from before. And and that's, maybe, that's maybe what's just missing in general intake towards a CrossFit gym. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, just yeah, crack yeah. on with a lot of variance. Yeah. And then you're like, show me some measurable data. You know, and we say, well, what can you squat? Do you know what you can clean? What's a mile of half time? Yeah. Um, just like that, and I'm like, I don't know. 
And that, that's fine, that's yeah, cool, yeah, it's, yeah. it's good and we're just trying to gear it towards, well, it is mega, and then you'll complain about the results aren't good enough, what you're measuring results on. Yeah, yeah because you can, you haven't got the strength. You've got no data to, you've got, you've, uh, to measure the results against. Yeah, like, if you've got no, it's like, oh, what's your nerve time, what's your fram, what's your this, what's your Diane? It's like, well, I'm not strong enough to do handstand push-ups, I'm not strong enough to do pull-ups, yeah. I can barely do 25 kilo deadlift or whatever. It's like... You, and at the same time, that's all right. But if it was me again, I'd want I need yeah. to get. Well, if you want the thing things, is, if you want to get life. better at CrossFit, if you want to get more out of GPP, then you need a prerequisite amount of strength to do the movements that uh, that CrossFit use to get you fit. Yeah, yeah. And if yeah, you can't, yeah. if you haven't got that, then it, like well, like we've said, if it was me, if it was you, it was you. You take a step back away from CrossFit, take some time out with maybe some PT, some help, some specific. Uh, programming or whatever and work on those weaknesses right. and then when you come back arguably you'll get much more out of CrossFit. Same with size, I, I cause a different body types now I'm always, always this, like the smallest lad. I had a big drama with like I'm small, I feel weak and when it comes to performing I'm probably the, I'm, pull that one back as well, <laughs> I'm also the slowest, my aerobic was beyond like eat no problems and then I went away and stopped doing aerobics, I used to do triathlons, um, Every endurance thing for the army with hurdles and all that rubbish, and um, stopped doing it because I was getting beaten by people who just accelerate. I remember I started playing sevens, and I was chasing this guy. I remember he looked over his shoulder and just accelerated. I was like, "What? That's <laughs> yeah. me at my top end." Yeah, yeah, and I was like, yeah, yeah. "I'm not playing this until I get stronger and I get yeah. faster." You and then I went and just did sprints and sprints and sprints. Then did heavy lift and heavy lift, and I was like, "I'm never going to do that aerobic stuff again." And I haven't got a sweat on since. I'm literally not not joking that much. Laura said yesterday, "You never get a sweat." And I'm like. I just don't like it, man. <laughs> I just don't like getting a sweat on, I'll be honest with you now. So when you say a team train, I'm like, oh, potential. Do you remember that, we were doing that there. Kelly thing, and you, after about two rounds, you're like, this is shit. This. It was, I was like, oh, Team training, yes. I might get forced and you're sweating. <laughs> and then it was, that's why I bent it off. Yeah. I'm not doing it more, it looks too hard. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. That, that'd be good. Like, I, like, say, yeah, like, when you start. It's one of them. I don't think people would do it because they'd be like, "I'm not doing that." But if you start when you started, you did. You had to do like a six-month foundation program, and it yep. was like lifting or whatever, getting strong. Probably like. Tell know, me any lifts, other S and C program that leads into sport where you don't do that. Fighting. I want to go and fight. Oh, you could get yourself in it. Fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's such a good point. point. That's such a good point. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. they bring kids up to then get stronger to deal with contact. They don't put them in scones yeah. and yeah. start doing full yeah. contact because they're yeah. Yeah. They're not yeah. ready for that kind of thing. It's the, same, it's the exact same thing in, I can't think of a single sport. No, yeah. that, there's, you know, there's no way. Program that would lead into that. The, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So, you're absolutely right. Why? Just, just play matches every day. It is. Yeah. 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 Hopefully I get better. You will really get yeah. skilled better yeah. until the body and you're like, oh, me, 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 me yeah. is gone, me is gone, me is gone, me Achilles is gone. Well. Well, I don't think you would get that much better either. No, nah, no, nah, nah. yeah. And if you put the thing is, if you are, it, yeah. if so it's like if, yeah, if your aim isn't to be the best footballer, but you just want to go and do it for fun and, and do it for a long time uh, and do it longevity, for, yeah, not yeah. not get knackered, yeah. do it yeah. in your love. I had people coming here. I used to play five side, but you know me, knee. Yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me, exactly. Achilles is gone. Why? The strongest your kid yeah. that can hold a car. <laughs> That's torn, has it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Had that, uh, knees yeah. and that. And knees I guarantee that was happening a long, a long time. Yeah, but I guarantee yeah. that was happening for a long time. Then you watch them squat and you're like, that's why. But, but you look at you just look at the backside and it's like it's like, oh, has it been a long ass day? There's just like it there's is. no yeah. it's like you've got a really long back that goes down to your ankle. Mm. There's nothing there. Yeah. It's like, All good athletes have got a big fat ass, yeah. haven't they? Now? You've yeah. never seen an NFL, NFL player. Without, without the thing ass, is, yeah. um, well, I'm only using an NFL recently because the preseason's coming up, you can go on Instagram and look at the teams and you watch them. I sent you some, didn't I? Yeah. And you watch them and even if you don't like NFL, you look at me like, how fast is he run? Yeah, and he's yeah, jumping yeah. like the height of a locker to catch a ball, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. he's 120 yeah. kilos. Imagine him running here. And can bench press 100 about 40 times. Literally, like, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 that's the, the NFL compound. Wow, and I said on it, I said on him on it, but I tried to get this point because it didn't, I didn't always get it. For, for, it looked like I was ranting again. But on Tuesday, I was like, right, I'm going to start off with a three minute dead hang. Men, men, if you can't dead hang for three minutes. Nailed. Have a word with yourself. <laughs> yeah. Have a word with yourself. And I was like, and I call this basic. It was two minutes, I'm lying. Two minutes. If you can't do this, honestly, and oh, this is going to sound very binary, yeah. you're a man. That's going to be a tough Have a word with yourself. <laughs> well, 
I don't think it should be. And I said, it shouldn't and I said be. to anyone outside of here, if anyone actually outside of here, remotely otherwise, if I said, who do you do CrossFit? And I said, go and hang off that bar for two minutes. That. Yep, cool. They would be like, got your chalk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, can, can I use yeah. laps? Yeah. yeah. What? No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah, Cat yeah. Jones's kid did one. They were at like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thing yeah. Just hung it was like, like three and a half minutes. Three, something. minutes yeah. I videoed. I don't know if you saw it. Well, no, I took a photo and I sent it to the girl who was doing it and um, watching the kids at, at the farm last night. Smashing up rope climbs. Yeah. Legless. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I remember climbing up a rope, mate. Like in the, was that school? That, um, I think it was like infants or something. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, like, you used to have all the pull-outs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can't do anymore, can you? No, I'm not safety, you're not allowed. No, <laughs> no, no, you're not allowed no. to go like, above shoulder height, are you? But mate, I, I literally can picture it in my head now, yeah, climbing yeah. up the top yeah. of the rope. Yeah. You know, running in like Basing after the bell's gone. And just the like, bean bags and the, no the hoops there. and stuff. Yeah. All that stuff. It's all, it's yeah. all, it's all, it's all. So, to the lads, right, two minutes, lads, you've got to hang this one for two minutes. And one did it, and then uh, lasses, and maybe they just didn't want to do it. Maybe it was either they couldn't do it or they didn't want to do it, and then they gave it. Yeah, yeah. That to me is still strength. Yeah, but if you could do, if you uh, could if do it, said, you could do it. You, you said to me, if you tell me something through absolute ignorance, I'll give it a good shot. And I might fail it, but I'll probably like hurt myself failing it. If someone said to me, hang that bar five minutes, I'd give it. Yeah. I'd not do it, but I wouldn't yeah. get off for 30 seconds, like, my hands hurt. Yeah, yeah. And this is what happened. And I was like, this is just basic, this man. This is bit. If you want to yeah. call it toughness, and you're seeing your hands hurt after holding up your yeah. bell bar, but how can you get, how can you then, then, but how can you then go and do, what, like, why would you then be able to go and perform a set of 20 hand power cleans if you can't hold on to well, look, your well, own body weight? Look at just doing um, beat swings. Yeah. You can't only have 15 seconds, but yeah. a set of five kitten pull-ups takes about 15 seconds when you yep. first start and do it. Yep. Don't try to do more kitten pull-ups when you can't yeah. hang for volume. Yeah. Yeah. Just hang. And, and that's, that's the it. strength. And that's it. the basic strength. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, strength. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the basic. It's yeah. the basics. Yeah. And, and that, that's what we're saying. Like, you, sometimes, someone has to go all the way back mm. and learn that mm. basic stuff get get that basic level of strength and then they'll get more out of i'd muscle. be out of spite i'd be like you watch when i come back in six months and i am smashing you smashing you no problem i do that with spite yeah because really like you want to you want to be we want to be training for the next 40 50 years tend to be yeah yeah that's all so fun, so, so what's six, what's, what's six what's weeks what's 12 weeks for, 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 for doing this for a long time is strength mm -hmm. and not specific to strength yeah it's not you know like yeah. if you want to be a power lifter then that is specific bench squat deadlift you yeah. get prepared to be in a lot of pain when you're older yeah. you're gonna be yeah. and that doesn't mean you're gonna stop yeah. doing it but be prepared to be in pain yeah, but what, what we're saying is strength yeah. isn't the strength isn't that specific it's well, not, it's not specific. Yeah. Well, the Dory Yates on the Joe Logan podcast when he's now gone from a mutant if you don't know who he is go and look at him gone from a mutant um, 310 in, pounds of pure muscle into doing yoga He's like, why don't you be a freak? No, he goes I'm and does he goes and does long bike rides. Yeah, does I, want, I want to live for longer. It's after I've smashed made his cash. <laughs> He's one yeah. four yeah. time Mr. Olympia. Yeah. Yeah. Fair one, fair yeah. one. Good lad, like yeah. good effort. But now he's just being sent to me like, don't you do that anymore? That was a specific, specific thing. I need to, I need to do it at the time. Going down the rabbit hole, or do you think that's just like a byproduct of our rubbish like education, like growing up? It's just like yeah. you've got an hour of PE. And we're going to play netball Unless you, football, unless you choose PE, then you've got two hours. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only reason I chose wow. PE. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard, isn't it? Because we always, we just, we just did things growing up, didn't we? We were we active, tried everything. very active. That's yeah. why I think it's it works here, because cool. people do think that on a level, and they are, they are doing something competitive when they have had no experience of that before. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's yeah. why it's mint. That's why I'm, I'm absolutely pro for it. Yeah. And that's why I'll attack anyone who's against it. Yeah. Because I'm like, you don't know what else it provides people like on a, on a, like, on a like, morale level. Yeah, yeah. But I'm also going to tackle the issue internally that is that I see that's going, that's yeah. also going wrong. Yeah, there's yeah. A, like, and, and that's it. You, look, you can just go, you can say like offhand, you can, you can pick which members need to really work on some basic strength stuff. It's like I can't hold them to a barbell for more than 10 and, seconds. Yeah, and this is the hard bit. It's like, I'm all right with you not, not caring. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't, because yeah. they might just be like, oh, I've got to get in that car park and get a sweat on and get off. Yeah, fair well. Otherwise, yeah. I'm sacking it. So yeah. I wouldn't even yeah. say that anything else that they do is a negative. Yeah. Well yeah. done, that's mega. Like you said, if, if they if they say, I don't care about getting the best score, I just want the stimulus from today, but I can't do this, fix it for me. Okay, here's dumbbells. Yeah, yeah. yeah here's exactly, the, yeah. Here's yeah. this, yeah, 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 yeah jumping yeah. pull-ups today. Yeah. There you yeah. go, yeah. you're going to get the stimulus. Yeah. And you do see that, you do yeah. see that. Yeah, totally. You see people just going. Been doing the same workout for years. Give me the stimulus, and that. Yeah. Don't care about it. Yeah, a laugh. That's cool. Like, yeah, wicked. Yeah.
bought the ones who go, I want to get better at CrossFit, I have limiting factors. You yeah. say, right, I'm sorry, yeah. Dave, but you're going to have to take a step back away from this fun stuff and it's time to improve your grip strength. You're going to go over there by yourself for two months and squat for two months yeah. by yourself. Okay. Two months. Yep. But and for the rest of your but for, but for the rest of your training life, you're gonna get way more out of it. You're gonna enjoy it more. Just trust me. I'm trying to figure out this one once Yeah. It's tough, isn't it? It is tough. <clears throat> so you wanna lead on to this? What we're doing? Um so as part of the um it's kind of released the gym so far, but it'll it'll hopefully go outside of that. Um We've done this uh, athletic strength blueprint to try and collate all the stuff that we've done in the past outside and and to date um, into one training block to give people an idea of what it takes to be stronger. And um, the way it works is it's first of all mastery the basics. So when, you, when I say who it's for, I'd say the way I've, we've done it now is to be geared towards CrossFitters. Yeah, the majority of, um, because it takes CrossFit off them, I mean, yeah. it takes the special the specialized skills that the gym that viewers are doing off them, and then yeah. puts them back into the into the classroom. They're like, <clears throat> ooh, oh dear, you know what I mean. And then the, that's the whole thing we're trying to like the, pers- the, like the pursuit of getting the basics down really, really well. And we understand that everything else from that pick up comes off that. It's either a hinge push, pull a squat, or a carry. That's it. Like everything comes from that. That's yeah. that's yeah. what yeah. I call strength. Yeah. I'm not. Call it fitness by any means, because you're probably fit. Less fit. Yeah. I'll be honest. Well, you're gonna have to CrossFit taken away from you for yeah. the next six weeks. Yeah. And you're gonna be concentrating <coughs> on those basic things, like you said, squat, hinge, push, pull, yeah. carry. Yeah. You're not relying on a kip. No. You're not relying no. on a swing. No. You're relying you on momentum. Just shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. tell you at the very But when end. the idea <laughs> is that when you come back in six weeks to your sport. You are going to be way stronger and way more prepared. It'd be interesting to do this more. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not even that. Maybe just like really, really more aware of yourself. Yeah, well, it is. It is. It is. Like, like I said with the sandbag, right? If you chuck, so I did some, um, so some, some tires last week, and they were heavy tires, and I couldn't do it the first time. I had to work out a thousand ways to move this thing, and I was like, that's yeah, it's not like clean. It's not like deadlift. It's, it's like running into a brick yeah, wall and then right. trying to bend your spine into it. And I was like, yeah. well, I find one way to do it. And, and that, that's what we're trying to give give like the guys through this is um, the, the the whole intent and purpose behind it is to use their like athleticism their physical skills to then conquer any task in front of them. If I put a car in front of you and said right you push that car down that road, be like, Whew. but I want to give them after the six weeks to be like all right yeah yeah I'll give that a go go I think I think I've got that do you know what I mean like it'll give them like it'll empower them enough to. To think they are strong, and because the program they will be strong. Yeah. You know I mean, so when they come back to then playing up with specifics, they're like, yeah, yeah. 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 Because the the, the, com- the confidence yeah. from what they've done, they've they've been they've dragged a heavy sled, they've pushed a heavy sled, they've, yeah. they've, they've, uh, they've yeah, become yeah. powerful, they've yeah. become strong and robust, and feel yeah. like they've got the leg strength to do mo- most things out of the ordinary. Yeah. And they, like you said, when they come back to specifics, sixty kilo thrusters, <clears> be like how many? Um, yeah, because yeah. it must be frustrating to come into a class and go, oh, can't do that. Yeah, yeah. like Again. I said before, mate. Like most I people's... can't. I, yeah, I can't remember a time where I've gone, I can't do that. I've gone, I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, like yeah. I can't do that. Like, yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. I physically can't yeah, yeah. do that. Yeah. yeah. If it was like yeah, two hundred kilos. It's a great feeling. That though. Is that yeah. is that a great feeling? Being like, <clears throat> oh, all right, yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's where. Cool. Yeah. So it must be. It must be stressful coming yeah. into a class every yeah, day and going. Mate, that that's it. Like I have I have PT clients who I'm like, who said I can't do a burpee. Mm-hmm. I can't jump on a box, mm-hmm. yeah. and I most certainly can't do a burpee box jump. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, right, well, what we need to do is we need to take you all the way back and start building your foundation. And I'm then going to show you that you can. Yeah. Like, I will show you that you and can. And you can do it very easily with a little bit yeah. of work to, to just bias it, yeah. take away what's tiring you out, the fitness side of it, yeah. and put all that energy yeah. and all that dedication into making into yourself that. stronger. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That's my big thing at the minute. I'm just trying to get back into the mindset of like, not even into mine, but just like, what are you like, what do you feel like as a member? Because it's so easy mm. to forget. Like, because yep. we were sit, like, sit chatting the other day about just being a coach and all you think about all the time is like, how to be a coach. And then you never actually, 
<coughs> think about <coughs> a member's point of view, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I mean, you do, but like, you don't it's also the first person, person, behind, like, person behind them. You, you don't think about it as a paid member, you think about the actual person, you try and look at them and think mm. what well, they're actually, if they look, if the kind of body language is all here, mm. oh, yeah. As well, do you remember? Yeah. You then go right, mate, 50 kilos. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And, and you've got to forget. Sometimes you forget. The like that, they? <clears throat> looking at you. Sometimes you have to forget. I like you have to be like instead of being like I know what you're capable of, and think, what do you want? Mm. What do you want out of this? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a big thing for me. Isn't it? Just trying to get into the mindset of like what people that are coming to your class are thinking. Mm. So I had a lot of this in this back before you even got into coaching when yeah, you were yeah, just yeah. a member, yeah. and you weren't even thinking like. Oh, he's thinking this, or blah blah blah. Like, just, just, just. Do you know what I mean? Just like yeah, what, yeah. You, what? Well, just what's right. going so, on in your yeah. head as a member yeah. that we went to a class? When, when, when we were talking about doing, we were doing talk to us do this. I, I mean, I'd love us to run for a twelve month thing, honestly, and, and yeah. do a whole new, you know, like just yeah. build an army of like just yeah. <laughs> monsters. Do you know what I mean? Like, go and tear shit up in the gym, just go and destroy it. That'd be a that. game changer, because yeah, because like they are game changers. You've got players on your team. Who you rely on, and like, yeah, he's all right. Then you've got the game changer, and like, I'll put anything on him. Yes, yeah, so you know I know he'll, can do he'll the pull job. through for yeah. me. Mm-hmm. Same with any, any team, professional organisation. There's yeah. always someone you go to, like, I know you do a great job. Why not create loads of them? And then they can all do a great job. So the whole thing, yeah, like you were saying there, was to the way we're going to do it with the support structure is to give people enough belief in themselves to to put their, their physicality, their athleticism into any task. And it's yeah. not um, by taking away the skill. Like yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the, the, there was no more skill in this. Like I'm, go, we're going to teach how to how to work hard o- o- and do really good movement at the same time. You'll not only get stronger and look better and move better, you'll then be able to put that into anything, yeah, yeah. anything. And so anything. when it does come back to learning yeah. the skill, it is you are just yeah. learning the skill, exactly. not. Yeah. I'm, I can't well, because you understand movement. It's like I just fine tune my skill level. Yeah. Oh, I get it. It's my lats. I've got my lats. I know my lats are. I've been doing. Pulls yeah, the ages, I was like, yeah, right, yeah, mega, yeah. Yeah. muscle through these. And say, um, I've been doing a few videos on it on uh, the past, like, leading up to this, and I did one with uh, with Carolyn yesterday, which was uh, she's shown the basics, and the session wasn't people will think, yeah, that's boring, or that's, I mean, I've had both feedbacks, like, people, like, said, can I book it and do that session? I'm like, yeah. what? Like, yeah. it's just, and all we did was every 30 seconds was one deadlift, 85% of a deadlift, and she ended up doing something like 5,000 kilos, but it had to be perfect. It had to be the technique we talked about. Yeah. She had to do it a certain way. Had to be the same setup, the same head angle, the same breathing mechanics. And if she didn't do it, bad, bad, awful rep. And she knew that. She was like, yeah. that messed that one up. Yeah. That'll so who decided again. it was perfect? You are. Really? We spoke. Both of us. We spoke yeah. about. It. She was like, I was like, yeah. you tell me what I'm looking for. And she's like, I need to do this, do that. I was like, yeah. what about this? And she's like, ah, yeah, we'll do yeah. that. Just half an hour of that, and every one of them was bang on. If you look at the videos, the setup was the same, the grip was the same, the breathing mechanics were the same, yeah. the speed of the rep was the same. Yeah. It, uh, that's mastering the basics. And then I did one with Laura today, showing showing like a pushing progression. And the first one was using a using the slingshot to put in. A, you seen that? Yeah. That neoprene thing that was I think I bought it before, and it just shows how what the right joint angle is for, for pressing for yeah. horizontal pressing. This is knowing that she's more than capable of, using, of doing a bench press and not just holding the push up or so. But we'll, anyway, let's get on. Um, <coughs> the second one we did was uh, was doing band resisted ring push ups. So we put it like, in the um, in the power rack. Put the rings like like in the power cage, and then put a band over her back, attached to both pegs. Yeah, yeah. So it's forcing her to go into extension. Yeah. She yeah. understands neutral height, and then fight extension, and then execute the same movement yeah. pattern, the same pressing without falling into extension. Yeah. And they went outside and they were tired. So she she didn't know. She had to then use all these skills to overcome the stress I was giving her. So I was in control, and I was launching this tire at her. She had to not only change foot position to absorb this force, it only a split second. Absorb this force and then fire back at me without being pulled over or, or me pushing yeah. over. Yeah. That's yeah. mint. She Next time she comes to the bench and she's like, what's that it? Yeah. It's in a workout, I've only got to do five bench. Yeah. Quality, I'm really yeah, good at yeah. this because I've just, you know, chuck the tie around. Yeah. What else well, yeah, we've done that. Next, next, next. Like, do I, I don't know, I remember do, once doing like, it was like a triple jackie. You do triple jackie and then next week is jackie and you're like, yeah, yeah, I've, I've done it three yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. I've done and three. Yeah. So I've do done one. three sub seven minute jackies. Yeah. So next week when I do it, I know yeah. I'm gonna absolutely batter yeah. it. Yeah, and you do. You do feel yeah. like I remember. Like what, what was it we were following when we were doing that? We were following a program anyway. And it, it kept. It was always something like that, and it would just ramp up and ramp up to the point where. You've pretty much done. Oh, um, it three was. Or um, four was it? 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 Was
No, there was when Madders, Madders was programming for oh, us all. Oh, um, the, uh, the, um, the dynamic effort, uh, Max effort days. Yeah. The, um, yeah. Yeah, but then, like, so he programmed, like, it, 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 the program would be geared towards a certain benchmark well, workout. Like Fran, so if it was Fran, yeah. you'd, you'd, you'd maybe one week do, like, it'd be like an EMOM of thrusters and pull-ups. So yeah. you're getting the movements in, and then it'd be, like, ten minutes of it, and then it might be, like, double Fran, but not in that mm-hmm. format. So mm-hmm. that when you, it's like, oh, it's Fran, you just go, mm-hmm. oh, is that it? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the Jackie one of them. It's was, um, the, the Jackie was a um, thousand metre row, 50 thrusters, 30 strict pull-ups, yeah. 50 thrusters, thousand metre row. Yeah, we work up and work back down and that, yeah, yeah. So then when you come to just doing exactly. one, you're like, well, it, so it's kind of the same, same yeah, yeah. principle. Just I say with it again, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. going yeah. back into getting better across with it. Yeah. The, the, the thing that I was doing with there was sport. If I took a, um, a rugby player, most common rugby players, and I'd make them do a uh, fan, they'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what for? Course, yeah. And I'd be like, yeah, fair, I don't know how to do Good work, good work out. Yeah. I was like, right, okay, and I, I went through that phase as well. I was like, right, let's get and have all. The, I could pull back videos from the second I started Facebook of doing this same thing of like getting attaching a tow rope to a car and pulling it. What that would do for that individual then on game day is like, I just pull the car. Like, yeah, I will yeah. literally bend you in half because yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like yeah. unstoppable psychologically. Yeah. Oh, massive, yeah. massive, and they'll get that because the the skill in it was out of it. Like we used to um, uh, with Phil before we went to New Zealand, it would just be doing um, push a car, get to the end. 10 kettle swings, push it back, that's it, as fast as you can. And yeah. we taught them power through that. Yeah. And then it was my job to manage the intensity, like, right, it's go time. So yeah. on game day, he just back himself and he just he just looked for people around him because he just felt strong. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if I, if I would give him um, double unders and snatching, it'd be like, he just experienced so many misses. He'd be like, yeah. Yeah. I've lost him there. Mate, every I'm time not double unders yeah. come up, you'll get at least seven people going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediately, you're yeah, like, totally, yeah. well, this is going to be rubbish. I just hate the work. Because like, yeah. if, if, you're, if you've got yeah. negativity pouring yeah. into you straight away because yeah. you feel bad because you can't do what what is deemed in the CrossFit world as a simple, easy movement and you know almost monostructural, isn't that's, it? That's why I want to put, I, I, am, I am backing this to death, is that when, I, when, when we put you through scenarios where you, you've got to find a way to overcome them and you do, we'll be like, that's mint. You are like you are getting. You are on yeah. the right way to getting stronger. It's when they come back here, they have a different mindset. They won't be like eighty kilo deadlift. What? Yeah. They'll be like, I'm gonna yeah. smash it. Yeah. They might not smash it, but so what? As long as, long as yeah. they're going there thinking, I'm gonna smash because I back myself. I actually yeah. trust me, me ability for yeah. a change. Do you know what I mean? And then, and then we do a session where we do the mental toughness one, where we uh, work on um, uh, just putting people in discomfort, mm. like fifty rounds of the one I did the other week was a ten car ski erg. And take a sandbag and put it over your. Yeah, it's yeah. awful. Yeah. Like you're being bent and you're rotating. It's all what Graham was doing. He's just like, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full of that. He's screaming. Calling the sandbag yeah. all kinds yeah. of names. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it wasn't yeah. complicated, but it yeah. was just painful. Like the skin yeah. on your fingers is coming off. You know, you're, yeah. when you're putting your shoulder, you're scraping the skin off your ear <laughs> off. But you are yeah. there to endure physical discomfort. And I'm yeah. not talking about anything complicated. There's no point me saying do 100 toast well, which rip your hands off. I don't get that. You know, I don't get why. I'd be like, if my hands hurt, I'd stop, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. You know, but then, if it's safe enough and it's got a meaning which is just for them to endure it and suffer, they'll pass it and be like, oh, I did, I never thought I'd do that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then yeah. got one round, it's like 49 rounds, I'm yeah. never going to finish then when this. It, but then when it comes back to three rounds for time, five rounds for time, it's like, on, well, I'm like, yeah. time. It's like, doing, it's like if, you, if you make someone do an hour row, when they come back and there's 750 metres in a workout, it's yeah. like, yeah. don't care. Yeah. Totally. That's just a thing, and I'm just gonna do it. It's not yep. even a thing to me. Yeah. So one of the what, another component of the, the program will be to expose you to things you can't get wrong, but things you are just there to endure, and like yeah. you've not got a choice. You either either you do it <laughs> or you quit. Yeah. We've and no skill as well. No, there's no skill. No skill. You it's just you do, it. do that, or yeah. you actually say I quit. And if you quit, have a fucking word of yourself. <laughs> you know, I like I like the uh, you know the. Death by workout. Yeah, yeah. You can't win. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no matter how good you are, yeah. You get in time yeah, out, or you, you're, you're at, 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 at some point you're gonna stop. Body weight clean and jerk. Can't or, win. Or, thr- or can't win. thrusters or something. Take your back, man. Sled. You might. You've got three meters. You've got to put the body weight on the sled, and you've got to run that to there. That's and if if you miss the minute, you're done. Yeah, yeah. And, and you'll, you, you will make you, a decision, you'll go, ah, oh, ah, oh, it's really hard. It's, no, you could and keep you can going. Tell because you finish it with the clock and you're like, <laughs> could yeah. it's like a lot of time left. It's like, I can yeah. do it, I could yeah. do it. I yeah. do yeah. I could do, do it. That's what, we want, that's, what we want, that's what we want to reset. And sometimes, if that individual gets too much skillful at them, 
they will never get to the stage where like I'm just going to push this and push this and push mm, yeah. this. And I'm not, I, I am trying to plug the thing, but honestly, I've done this for a long time, like a long time. And like, I've been in some like real situations, like where your life's on it and you think if I quit, like someone will die. I'm not yeah, saying that's yeah, the same with yeah, the gym, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but my mindset, I swear to God, is different from yours. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and yeah. If, you, if we can do that by delivering, um, if we can teach a way of thinking through delivering of a programme, mint. Yeah, yeah. That's mint. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm ranting on about it that for so long sense, and yeah. plugging yeah. all this stuff because I probably believe that yeah. what we've done with it is, is, yeah. is, a, is a genuine cause. It's not to make and money. And it's not just it's not, like, to it's, bloody it's not like get Instagram followers. Do you want to do you want to put ten kilos on your back squat? It's not even yeah, so exactly. much about no, no, that. Exactly. It's nothing, nothing to do. With it. it's no, like, nothing. I mean, do. those the, all that all that will come. But you're going by the time you'll understand that you've got so much more out of it than numbers on a board. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Strength yeah, is yeah. a big one. Is the fear of mind. Yeah. Confidence. You see someone who walks in like a shadow is cast by the the ego or whatever. I don't care. But at least they've got a presence. Yeah. At least they've got something about them. But it wears the, all this kind of thing happens. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to rely on them, to be honest. Yeah. That's what we try to do. If someone said to me, six weeks' time, leave, cro- leave CrossFit, six weeks' time, you're going to be way more confident in yourself and you're going to enjoy CrossFit, you'd, I'd do it. Yeah. You'd do it, wouldn't you? Yeah. So you're just going to learn some as well. Do you know what I mean? You are. Six weeks yeah. isn't a we're, great we're deal amount of time. There's, to one, make. there's a one where we're going to take them on a, um, on a hill uh, near us, a three tier hill, and it's like the travel leader. And you'll all quit. You'll all be thrown up at the top. I yeah. promise you. You promise you'll be thrown up. Um, but do it. We'll do come and learn it. Like come and just have the have the balls to try it, yeah. and then be like at the end, I've kind of passed something. Mm. Like, and my God, I'll give you some respect. Like, I'll, I'll be doing passage, it. it. I'll be yeah, doing it with you, yeah. and I'll be being sick and everything. Like, yeah. but I expect the same back from from all of you. Do you know what I mean? Like, so give it, give it, give it a shot. Why not? Yeah. Why not? That shit sounds really exciting to me. It is, because it's something different. To, yeah. like, it's not only four hours of meat with some kettlebell swings yeah. at the end of it. Yeah. No, it's I'm going to be pushed there. Simple. Like, I'm going to have to actually try. Do you know, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do as well, just, just, just to feel no, that I'm going to be self hurt as well. Because yeah. like, there's no skill, there's no one going to be like, well, I can't do muscle ups. It's going to be, we can all bolt it up that hill as fast yeah. as we can. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason you'll stop is because your legs actually stop working. <laughs> yeah. And you can't you actually plan. go any yeah. further. Yeah. I went, I did, went, went and did, last time I did something like that was when I went to that strong fit course and I mean, legs just after the sled like, boom, and I was like, and I was just watching, and I was like, God, the sky's like green, this is awful, but it's a minute, let's do it again. class, but well, that, that developed a mega, so a mega fair reference, so when you yeah, could do anything, I was like, well, this is shit, but it was nowhere near as bad as that time when I was yeah. like, bent over a bin. Yeah. Home. And you'll always remember that way, sometimes exactly. you go, oh, today we've got Jackie, who remembers their Jackie time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, done yeah. it about eight yeah. times, yeah. I don't remember any of it. But it's constantly it's resetting like what they think's normal. If yeah. someone thinks right now normal, or way beyond normal, is doing 100 burpees, by the time you finish that, you'll be like, give me a 1,000 burpees. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm not joking. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. once you've found that real real intensity, what you're capable of, which isn't masked or whatever by yeah. a lack of skill, yeah. you, you're, re- you're mentally ready for anything. Your mental Absolutely. toughness goes through the roof. And if you don't think that's going to carry over things that you do outside the gym, when you have an argument, all of a sudden you kind of, you know, who's someone who's kind of giving you a bit of a power trip or a bit of an alpha trip, and you're like, because you just don't back yourself. And if it's someone give you a hard time, like, listen, steady yeah. on, right? Before I bend you over that thing. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Tell you, mum. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Tell you. Definitely. Yeah. All got carry over. All got carry yeah. over. Cool. So, yeah, looking forward. So, we'll, um, for that, we're going to post a, a sign up link. That starts, um, so I've started like at 6, 1 through till 6 on Sunday, and we're starting. By the time, on... yeah, it'll be already we'll be live, won't we, by the time this comes out? Oh, yeah, we'll be like, yeah, we'll be like, yeah. yeah. When it comes out on Monday. Yeah, 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 you should have known about it. It's been happening for a while. Athletic Strength Blueprint version 1.0. Oh. It's going to be You good. went really like marketing on that one, didn't you? Full V1. One. I just want to say about that, like how it, it'll uh, tra- translate to your work, your home life and shit. Yeah. First text, great session this week, Michael. I've uh, been dealing with workplace knob, isn't it? And the physical kept me moved up. Midnight. There you go. In for three again next week, champion. Same thing. Kid. If she hadn't have bothered, because she had a hard time at work, she would work where you got on top of her.